Hi everyone, this is Asim and I'm working as Product Marketing Specialist at Group 3. We specialize in various open source technologies and technology integration as can be seen on our site. You can see the website address here as well. Today I'm going to demo you our BPM software which is basically an enhanced version of open source activity BPM platform. We have customized and enhanced it during one of our recent engagements. So let's get started. I'm going to log into the system now. So before we start doing any button pushing, let me quickly go through our example process and why we would need such a software. It's a typical credit note process that I'll be demonstrating today. Suppose you're a large luxury goods seller. One day a customer just walks in and requests a refund. Now there can be any reason behind such a request. Maybe it was due to duplicate billing. Maybe it was due to defective product. Now based on reason, different people can be involved. For example, if it's a defective product, maybe engineering department approval is required for before the refund happens. Without such a system in place, so what would typically happen is the client will just walk in, he'll request a, he'll request a refund, and the credit note executive will take the request. Maybe he'll prepare an email, attach the necessary documents, and send an email, send an email to the immediate reporting authorities. And as I said, different people can be involved based on reason. So what typically happens is that after sending an email, likely he'll lose track of, of the application status. So he'll follow up with email and phone calls just to track down the status of the request. And we'll just show you how this system can help you avoid such issues. So in this particular case, the customer will request a refund. Credit note executive will take the necessary detail and raise the CRN request or credit note request within system. Upon submission of the request, it will go to the team leader for review. Who can either accept it or reject the request. If the request is rejected, it will again go to the credit note executive for review. Who can either take the necessary corrective measure and request a review of the request. Or accept the reason of rejection and the process will be marked as rejected and closed and if after the review the team leader accepts the request it will go to the department manager for approval in this particular case upon the approval of credit not manager the system will will either send a summary email and close the task now this is this decision is based on the amount involved in the credit note if the amount is less than two thousand five hundred dollars then the then the email will be sent to all the involved party and process will be closed but if the amount is more than two thousand five hundred dollar which is configurable then request will go through further approvals from various authorities who can either accept or reject request based on set criteria. Now that you have the understanding of the process, let's quickly go through our hands-on demo. I'll switch to the different window now and I'll go to the processes section. I'll click on credit note process and I'll start the process. Oops. You're not authorized to start this process. Means this user is not allowed to start a credit note process. Maybe he's not a credit note executive. So we'll just log out from the system and log in as something who can start the process. Again, we'll go to the processes section, click on credit note process, click start process. And the process is started now. So as a credit note executive, I'll just fill in the form. I'll just basically select different values. I'll just say request number is 100. So I'll just uh, fill in uh, the required form and I'll simply click complete task. Now the request is raised. I can ch I can go to the process board and check 
what is the status of the request anytime uh, by going here upon clicking this I, I will even see which user basically the request is pending now the user who will uh, who will be assigned to review the task will receive an email similar to this where he can see the, the serial number he can see the, uh, the process ID and he can simply click on this link and a browser will open and upon logging in will directly take take you to, to the uh, to the specific task so from the request status we know that the request was assigned to commit so we'll just log we've already logged in as commit so I'll just quickly go to the tasks of commit user and we can see that the, uh, the user have a review CRM request task in his task box so the team would request and in this particular case he have to select the credit note manager and concern department head based on criteria now uh, now, be, now based on the target company's policies these values can be either taken from active directory or database in this particular case he'll just select the users he've selected himself he'll just put in some comments and he'll simply approve the request now as we've selected ourselves as a credit note manager so we will see the task have been moved to a newer stage so as a credit note manager I can write some comments and in this case we'll just reject the request and see what happens so once I rejected the request the user who been assigned the task uh, who was the original requester will again see a task in his task box and he can see that uh, the comments of creditor manager is that there there are no supportive documents so he'll just attach some supportive documents and simply request a review and he can go to the process board anytime and he can say there's a review requested for the same uh, process so because commit is the uh, is the request reviewer he'll see a task in his task boss again he'll see the details and he decided to approve the request this time and now as a credit not manager I can put in some comments and I'll approve the request this time now as as I can see that right now I'm at a task of functional head approval so the task have so the process of uh, progressed so he writes his comments and in this case again he decided to approve the request now the task have gone from his inbox and similarly the user who started the request don't see any task so what what's the request status so anytime he can go go to the process board he can click and he can say he can see that the CF approval pending in this particular case he can even click on this link and see the history of the task in this case he can see that the request is approved is pending approval by CFO so what I'll do is I'll log into the system as a CFO user and see if the particular task is pending with me so he can review the tasks he can check the documents and then he can say simply approve the request uh, as a user doesn't have the permission to see the process board but the original requester did have the permissions 
so you can see the request is now closed and the request is approved now during this task assignment definitely the user who will be assigned to review a task or take some actions will see an email and with the link that will directly take take to the task uh, will uh, take him to the task and as i said that as per the process let's uh, just log in as commit now so we know that he have the necessary permissions So as I discussed previously, that once the task will, will, will be closed and approved, a user will receive a summary email. So at the end, the involved parties will receive a summary email, something like this, with all the attachments that were there. And the process will be marked as closed. Now the the process itself, uh, the software itself have much more functionality. But we've just briefly gone through some of the functionalities. For example, different parameters controlling the process flow are configurable. For for example, the approval amount for the CFO and approval amount for the CM, and who the request reviewer would be uh, are are taken from a DB backed uh, property store. Now we haven't gone through the complete functionality of the software. For example, we haven't discussed task ownership and task reassignments, uh, process comments. But the purpose of this demo was to quickly give you an overview of the software and how and what you can achieve with the software. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Take care and bye for now.